Hi, this is Hillary. And Anna Maria. Reporting under the marquee on our first impressions of The Jungle Book. And I have to say, I'm really torn. They did a brilliant, brilliant job of it, but I've never much cared for the story because I find it really a bit on the dark side. And I almost think that doing it in CGI so it looks so very real makes it feel even darker. I will be interested to hear what you think of it. Okay. I loved it. <laughs> but then I always like a little dark. <laughs> So I thought it was fantastic. This, the CGI just made it incredible. Um, but let's go back to my place and talk it over. When the panther Bagheera finds a man cub alone in the jungle, he realizes the boy will need a people to raise him. So he takes the boy, Mowgli, to a wolf pack who adopts him. Mowgli does his best, but he's a lousy wolf. Not only too slow, but always pulling tricks with vines and branches, not at all like the other cubs. But it's not until the tiger Shere Khan, who has a long-standing grudge against Mowgli, threatens the wolves, that Mowgli is forced to leave the safety of the pack and make his own way in a jungle full of danger. I think you should go first this time <laughs> since you liked it better than I did. What did you like? Um... Well, first off, I love the look of it. I mean, the, the 3D is definitely worth it. It just pulls you right into the world and made it so real. The, the look of the film is absolutely gorgeous. But what really got me was the incredible emotion that came through on the animal faces. Um, that's where CGI, I think, really paid off because when the, the, the she-wolf, the she has to say goodbye to Mowgli. My heart was breaking. You could see that her heart was breaking. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was so much love in her expression for her man cub that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it just um, was wonderful that way. The, um, uh, I thought the characters were fantastic. When, um, and I thought they actually did a pretty good job of, of working the, the songs into the mm -hmm. movie. The bear song, you know, was wonderful. And I have to say, you know, I remember the animated film and the, the song, I want, I want to Be Like You, Walk Like You, you know, that mm -hmm. one. When Christopher Walken sings it, <laughs> oh, my God, it was terrifying <laughs> because you could see what he planned to do with the power of the red flower, and it was frightening. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember in the animated film, it was bouncy and happy and really funny. Yep. And it was the same words, same song, and a completely different emotion. So, so it was very effective. Mm -hmm. How about you? What did you like? I agree with you. The CGI was incredible. The whole thing just came to life. And all the characters were gorgeous, very vivid, very, very well realized, very distinct personalities, very good arcs. Mm -hmm. um, they did a great job of making Mowgli both a child raised by animals and a kid, yeah. um, which I thought was, was fantastic. And the look of the movie is just amazing. Okay, so what didn't you like about it? <laughs> Actually, the thing that made it so strong is what also was a weakness for me. Oh, okay. The Jungle Book has never been my favorite story because it really is kind of a dark mm -hmm. tale. It's, it's a story of vengeance and survival, basically. Mm -hmm. And because the animals were so vividly realized and their characters came through so much and you got so attached to them as people, the violence was absolutely horrifying and it made it I thought a very dark movie when you saw the Disney animated version because it was a cartoon mm -hmm. it wasn't as intense and because the CGI made it so very real it was a very dark movie it was it was darker than I like well what about Harry Potter people people die in Harry Potter and stuff <laughs> yeah, and so why is it so bad them, if, that they would die in this? I was very close to those animals. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, you know. It's worse to see animals die than humans. It's more the okay. Bagheera and Baloo were mm -hmm. actually more believable, real, dimensional people than mm -hmm. a lot of the characters in Harry Potter. 
Interesting. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, we might get some mm-hmm. hate mail on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but they were. I, I, I like Harry Potter, but a lot of the characters are more on the surface. Some aren't, but a lot of them are. And Baloo and Bagheera were not, and mm. the Mother Wolf wasn't, and even even the head of the pack, who Shere Khan killed, was not. But he wasn't in it as much. No, he, he was a minor as, character. He, yeah, he wasn't as developed. So I actually mm. was. If you're going to lose anyone, it was okay yeah. to lose him. Yeah, and, and I agree with that. And Baloo and, and Bagheera weren't actually killed. Yeah. But the violence was really intense. The violence level is fairly high, so. Um, would not uh, would not be for little kids, yeah. uh, and we'll get into that. I was going to um, say that's a great segue yeah. into age range. <laughs> well, I'm, I, I have to yeah. say what I didn't okay. like. Okay, what did you really not into, like about it? Um, I, there wasn't really anything I didn't like about it. I loved it. I really loved mm-hmm. it. I thought it was a fully realized version of the Jungle Book, and it was completely real, completely believable, and very emotional. Um, and I don't mind being pulled into um, a dark movie with deep emotions um, that are, that makes me cry at times. Um, I'm happy to take that journey, uh, and it was a wonderful journey. It's it's not the sadness though; it's the fact that it's a story about revenge. Well, Shere Khan, Shere Khan wanted revenge, but yeah. Mowgli didn't. Well, he and does. That's... He was defending his pack, but. But he turned away from revenge. Yeah, he was. Def- yeah, he was not Wait. getting. He was not. He getting- killed Shere Khan. Yes, but not for revenge, to save his pack. Yeah, that's different. But- it wasn't for revenge of what he did to his, the father, yeah. the he wolf. It was to protect the pack. I'm sorry, there is yeah. a difference there. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll concede <laughs> that. But it's still a really. It's a movie that has a kind of a dark emotional plane to it. Mm-hmm. We're darker than I care to go. Okay. <laughs> what age range would you put it at? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say eight and up. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, for, for little kids, it's a violent movie. Um, the animals are people, and the, the... I'm sorry, panther, tiger fight, panther, bear fight... They looked like a real tiger and a real bear and a real panther fighting. Mm-hmm. And that's way too violent for little kids. Sorry, dog just pulled my cord. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would put it, um, I think, seven and up. I think you could do seven. Um, depends on the seven-year-old. Yeah, it depends yeah. upon the seven-year-old. Okay, I'll let you go first. How many tickets are you going to give it? I'm giving it four and a half tickets. I loved it. Um, it had all the emotion that I really wanted in a movie. Mm-hmm. The look of it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, I, I started comparing it to Zootopia to, in my mind, which was another mm-hmm. four and a half ticket movie. And it really didn't quite surpass Zootopia for me, so I'm keeping it at the four and a half. How about you? Ah, uh, I'm three and a half I tickets. I, I I know, but okay. Okay, part of this is it's it's not my kind of story. Clearly, um, it gets the three and a half because the special effects were fantastic, but the story also is a lot simpler than Zootopia's and a lot less uplifting, in my opinion. Zootopia had a very uplifting story, and a lot more complex and a lot more fun. And this one, yes, it has some fun in it, but yeah. It a movie doesn't have to have fun in order to be four and a half tickets. I mean, this, I thought had all, I thought in some ways it had more emotional depth than Zootopia. Um, the, I mean, the, the, you know, just between the, the, mm. the mother wolf and Mowgli and how Mowgli mm. feels about the other animals, I thought was way up there yeah. and had, in, in the ways, a lot more depth than Zootopia. I'll concede you the um, emotional depth, but I, it's all dark. <laughs> it's all dark. Well, okay, it's dark, all dark. Dark can be good. Dark, dark can be satisfying. It doesn't have to be, yeah. you know, This is one where we're going to disagree. Fuzzy Buddy movies. <laughs> this is one where we're going to disagree. I like Fuzzy Buddy movies. <laughs> I like them too, but I also like Dark Buddy movies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She writes dark, gritty novels sometimes, too. <laughs>
And that's our review of The Jungle Book. Thanks very much. If you have any comments, sign up for our YouTube channel. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you at the movies.